Okay. Uh, welcome everyone. I'm Janu from California. Today we're going to, uh, we have master with us. We're going to talk about Paida, how to do Paida. And um, I'm practicing Paida Lajan for last two years. And Mr. Master uh, Student, Hongxi Shang Master Students came here to give more detail about how to do Paida Lajan. Really wonderful movement. We have some master here to teach how to do Paida. Uh, master uh, Zin, please introduce yourself and uh, uh, tell me how to do Easy, easy Paida Lajan. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh... I'm glad to hear to be here to uh, share with you about the Paida skill. Uh, my name is Jing. Uh, I'm from China, and I'm staying in uh, U.S. in a, a city near Portland now. And uh, I have practiced um, Paida Jing for about ten years, and uh, I used to work as a, a Paida Jing camp uh, coach and also as a manager uh, to take care of some uh, Pai Da Jing camp in China. And after that, I set up my uh, Pai Da La Jing uh, studio to provide the service and uh, to the people who need these services and also uh, promote the Pai Da La Jing uh, method in China. And then I moved to US um, in 2015, and I uh, still uh, work as an, a coach here and to help some people uh, in locally. And also I use the internet platform to promote the Paida Marching skill uh, to China and to some people in US. So um, today I would like to yeah, uh, share some of my experience about the Pai Da La Jing. And thank you for joining us so, <laughs> in my so, invitation. Yeah, actually I'm from India. Uh, I'm from uh, South India. My English won't be good. Please bad my English. <laughs> and uh, uh, Master uh, Jin, and now you're gonna, we gonna talk about how to do Pai Da. It is, uh, we're gonna talk about Pai Da La Jing. Pai Da means slapping, La Jing means stretching. Today in this meeting, we're gonna uh, talk detail about how to do Paida, because Paida is really very easy. You can do wherever you want. There is no restriction for Paida. You can do any place um, with a group of people. So we're gonna talk with the simple thing, beginning, okay? Uh, master tell me how to do Paida and do and don't, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. So uh, before I uh, share the details skill about the Paida, I would like to uh, give, a, uh, give you a very short introduction to about why we should Paida, right? Mm -hmm. Because you, you need to know why you should uh, need to do that and then you can do it well, right? So uh, basically uh, all information I share today is based on the Chinese uh, traditional medicine uh, theory. And in the theory, uh, what we believe is that uh, both, uh, physical body's health uh, uh, based on two basic uh, factors. One is the energy level and another one is the energy circulation level. So if, you're, if you have uh, enough energy and then you have a very good uh, circulation and then these two factors will combine as a, uh, together to make you a healthy situation. So uh, first one is that why uh, energy level is so important because and it's your energy to build up all your body, right? You from a very small cell and then from a very small baby and then you grow up to what you are today. It's all because you have energy, right? This energy can help you grow up right? And then this is first. And another one is that is the energy that can um, support all your function in daily, right? You want to, if you want to uh, listen, you want to see something and you want to touch something, you need to move from here to there and you need to eat and you need to breathe. 
everything need energy. Yes. So, yeah, so uh, this is another uh, part that energy can uh, help every function of your body. And the third thing is that the energy can also uh, fix your problem. If you, for example, if you broke your uh, skin, mm. and then if the, if the energy cannot reach to that area, then the skin cannot be fixed. Mm -hmm. That's why if the energy can fix all your problem, all your body problem. Mm. So uh, that's why energy is very important for your uh, healthy uh, situation. Mm -hmm. And so, and but if the because the energy uh, need to go through to all over your body, so it will follow a certain channel, a certain uh, area to uh, certain channel to reach to different part of your body. Mm -hmm. We in China we name it as a meridian, but in 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 Western definition is a little bit different. Okay, but it's okay. But you need to bear in mind that there are some, there are many channels that uh, carry the energy, and then carry this energy to different part of your body. So in in our uh, Chinese uh, uh, medical theory, we think that most of your body uh, problem, most of your physical body problem, uh, is caused. Uh, by the blockage, blockage. Uh, yeah, uh, by the blockage because the blockage, the circulation is not good, mm -hmm. right? And then the energy cannot uh, go through uh, inside your body smoothly, and then there is not enough uh, energy can reach to that area mm -hmm. wherever the, the the area need this energy. So if there is not enough energy reach to that area, then that area or that uh, organ cannot work properly. Right. For example, if you, yeah, for example, if your heart don't have enough um, uh, energy uh, supply, and then your heart cannot beat mm -hmm. as normal, right? Okay. So you will feel uh, you will feel difficult to uh, uh, breathing or difficult. You will feel some uh, pain problem, and it will cause you maybe can, you, you cannot sleep well and you don't have uh, enough uh, uh, spirit to uh, to yeah in the daily time so it will cause everything inside your body okay so it's the blockage which will make you uncomfortable okay. and yeah that's why when we talk about uh, how to uh, Heal your body. How to um, uh, recover your physical body? We we always focus on the uh, blockage blockage movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in Chinese, we develop different method. For example, we use the herbal. Uh, we use the acupuncture. Mm -hmm. We use the uh, maybe massage yes. and the cupping, right? Cupping and yeah, kinds of this um, physical therapy. You <laughs> and use some... knife therapy? I have seen master. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> knife therapy, right. <laughs> and yes, so we all the way, we the purpose is the same. It's want to help the body to remove the blockage mm -hmm. and then let the energy can uh, circulate mm -hmm. better and better. Mm -hmm. Once the uh, energy can be uh, circulate very good, and then there are, there will be enough energy to reach mm. that area, and then it can work properly, right? Mm. So that's that's all the purpose uh, for um, to heal the body. And um, so today I'm uh, talking about the Pai Da method, right? So the Pai Da is a Chi it's actually it's a Chinese word. <laughs> pai means black, okay? Ah. Means black. Da, da means hit. <laughs> hit. Mm. Yeah, so it's a slap and hit combined together as a word. Okay, okay. so so we use this um, this word to describe this method. Okay, mm. so it's it's 
you sometimes you 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 play da. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you slap and sometimes you you will hit. <laughs> but yeah, in different cases. But all the purpose is just want to remove the blockage inside your body. Mm -hmm. And because pi da is a very uh, simple uh, method, it's very easy to learn and it's also a very safe method because you just just uh, apply to your uh, surface of your body, mm -hmm. didn't get inside your body, okay? Yeah. So it's a very safe uh, way. And in my experience in these 10 years, uh, I can see there are, um, this method can uh, help a lot of uh, physical body health problem. Mm -hmm. So, and the effect is very, quick mm. and it's quite efficiency and also very powerful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it, it can help uh, many problems mm. in my experience, okay? So uh, that's why I like to share with more people, uh, not only in, the, in China, but also <laughs> all over the world to, yeah, to let more people to uh, use this method. Okay, that's, that's um, that's a basic knowledge and basic uh, uh, purpose and uh, why we use the PIDA, okay? okay? So the, again, to PIDA is, the, uh, is a very good way to help to remove the blockage inside your body. That's the purpose. So um, we, we have a very basic uh, skill uh, introduce, introduction now. And the, uh, how to pie that? It's a very simple, uh, simple movement, <laughs> just yeah. like this. This is pie that, okay? Yeah. This is pie. Yeah. This is a stepping, right? Yeah. So we yeah. can use uh, use your hands and or use different kind of uh, tool. As a, also very simple tool, uh, and to to uh, make pie that easier and and more uh, energy saving. So you can also when you pie. That, Use the wooden scoop, wooden stick or wooden scoop. Oh, right, right. You use a stick and something, something that you is a very uh, flexible, convenient for you. Okay, I mean, yeah. but but always you can start with your hands. Okay, okay. because <laughs> everywhere you can use your hand, right? So, um, uh, this is the uh, the way to pay that. and then uh, we because just now I have mentioned that. Um, the purpose is to, is to remove the blockage, okay? So how do you define that you have removed the blockage in a certain places in your body? So there are two, um, two factors, uh, two standards. The first standard is that when you tie down a certain area, you, you, uh, you tie down harder and harder, and then you will feel pain at the beginning. Okay. And yeah, and then uh, you don't have to feel, uh, have a long, uh, a much pain, painful mm. around that area. You just uh, use the power to tie down and then you can uh, tie down the area as long as you can suffer that kind of pain it, within your, yeah, your, your ability, okay? Mm. So, but, but, the pain is necessary, oh. but not too much pain, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't have to suffer too much pain, but, but the pain is necessary because mm -hmm. it's the pain that uh, uh, indicate mm -hmm. in your body and then the pain, uh, and then your body will uh, take action mm -hmm. automatically because of the pain. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then the body will generate more energy and then drive more energy to that pain area, mm. okay? Yeah. So this energy can, uh, can uh, reach to that area that you tie down, mm. and then this energy, as the energy accumulate mm. much enough, strong enough, this energy can dissolve the blockage into very small pieces inside, and then, because after pie that your skin also have some uh, some open uh, open spots. open access yeah mm. so that the energy can also push this 
blockage outside mm. from the skin. Mm. Okay, so um, uh, that's so this is uh, the whole process that uh, your blockage can be removed from inside mm. uh, your body. Mm. But, <clears throat> so the pain is necessary. <laughs> that's why the pain is necessary. But don't have to uh, not to be too much pain. <clears throat> so when you pie down a certain place, uh, uh, time not uh, long enough, and then you will feel the pain change. Okay. At the beginning, maybe the pain is uh, very sensitive and very uh, a little bit strong, mm -hmm. but after a long time uh, to pie down over there. The pain level will start to decrease. Decrease. Yeah, the decrease. Mm. And when you feel the pain level start to decrease, you can pipe that harder. Mm. Try to pipe that harder. Mm. And then maybe you will feel okay, the pain level will increase a little bit. Mm. Increase. Mm. Then you keep that level. Okay. You keep harder and harder. And then at the Certain point, even though you piled up very hard, mm. the pain level didn't increase, oh. and it will, and it will decrease. Oh. Okay, mm. at that time, you can define that these areas uh, blockage have been removed. Removed. It's it, the enough. Pain yeah. is the indication. Yeah, pain indication. This is the first uh, standard that you can ensure the the blockage removed. Removed. Another. Another standard is that you can look at uh, the color of the, your, your skin. Sure. Okay, yeah. Because after tie dye, the blockage is removed out, then your, then your skin will turn into different color, okay? At the beginning, it, it will uh, turn into red color. Black. And, yeah, and then it will turn into maybe red, uh, uh, maybe blue. Mm. Or even dark, yeah. or yeah, or the, uh, or, or even black. Okay, mm. the blue and black, all depends on uh, how much serious the uh, blockage inside your body. Mm -hmm. So if the blockage is very mm. strong inside, then the then the color will getting harder and harder, uh, darker. Okay, and darker. So what, what we call this. Uh, this uh, color, what we call is sha, mm. okay, S H A, <laughs> it's yeah. sha. It's it's also in a uh, Chinese word, but this sha uh, shows that um, uh, the blockage inside your body. Mm -hmm. So when you tie down a certain place long enough, then the sha will getting out. Yeah, yeah. We we call the sha also we call the sha is some waste in your body. Mm -hmm. So, so you can look at the color of the shark, mm. and the shark's color will change in uh, during the pita uh, period. Mm -hmm. So the shark can become uh, maybe darker and darker. Mm -hmm. When it becomes darker and darker, you need to keep on to pita. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. you need to keep on. You don't move to another place. You need to keep on that area. Mm. Keep on, and then. Uh, there will reach a, uh, a certain time that you can see the color start to uh, turn to lighter. Lighter. Yeah, yeah, lighter. Yeah. So when the color start to turn to lighter and lighter, and then you can uh, stop this uh, tie down, mm -hmm. and then you can also it it is an indicator that shows that this uh, uh, blockage. Have been removed. Removed. Mm. Yeah, have been removed. So these are two indicators. Okay. okay. <laughs> so the pain, the pain indicator, and then the color indicator. Color okay. Image. Yeah. It so is that how long we have to do? We have to follow. First one, we have to follow the pain. Second one, we mm -hmm. can follow the sharp, the color when it's appear when we're doing pida. Okay. Yeah. You you can combine these two indicator. Uh, yeah, you can reference to indicator because if you pie that yourself, it's easy to feel if it's pain 
or not pay, right? But if you help help others to find out, mm. you yeah, you can you 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 cannot feel her feel, right? Yeah. But but actually you can also improve the power, mm. improve the power to Paida and harder and harder. Mm. If you can see, okay, even though you Paida quite quite hard, but he didn't uh, feel so much painful. Yeah. Then maybe yeah, that is what one indicator works. But you can still look at the shark, okay? And the shark color is easier for you to observe if you help others to find out, okay? So that's the two indicator to make sure you uh, uh, have removed the blockage, blockage. outside, mm -hmm. okay? So when we are talking about to find out a certain area, mm -hmm. we we um, we suggest you don't move around, okay? Mm -hmm. If you find out this area, mm -hmm. you didn't move, you didn't find out a certain times and then moved here, mm -hmm. okay? You just focus on this area. One area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one, one area. One area. Focus yeah. on one form area. Yeah, one time, each time, one area, and then unless you, Make sure that the blockage have been removed mm. enough, uh, outside enough, and then you can move a little bit to the next to the labor area, okay, to a nearby area. You don't move to another area here, okay. okay. You just move to the nearby area nearby. if you have time, okay. Mm. If you have time, mm. because when you tie that the first time here, mm. you tie that long enough, the mm. energy have come here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so if you move, just move to nearby area, mm -hmm. then the energy still can work around this area, right? Okay. But if you move to here, mm -hmm. then you need to get the energy here again. Oh, again. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, so you um, you need um, you yeah, better don't move. Far area, just to Quite far the area. nearby. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So this is a, a key point uh, to make sure that you can uh, remove the that uh, blockage outside, okay? This is the first tip. And um, uh, if you have uh, 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 practiced this skill mm -hmm. good enough, I mean, this is a very basic skill. Mm -hmm. it, is, it, is, it is also the most important skill mm -hmm. when you use PIDA. So you, you practice this skill good enough, mm -hmm. and then you can start to use this skill to PIDA different area mm -hmm. on your body, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and uh, well, uh, just now we are talking about, uh, we need to uh, know what should do and what should not do, right? Yeah. <laughs> During the PIDA. Okay, what should do the, to um, PIDA is that, uh, first thing I have mentioned just now, you need to PIDA good enough to make sure the the blockage is out mm. to remove the blockage. This is a, the first and the very important uh, uh, rule mm. to PIDA. Okay, mm. this is the first. And the second uh, rule is that uh, I just mentioned about that the energy level, right? Mm. So during the PIDA period, you still need to, uh, uh, to drive your energy to let the energy work to help to dissolve the blockage and then push the blockage outside, right? Mm. So that during the uh, PIDA period, you, you also need to make sure that you have um, enough energy. That's why we don't suggest you PIDA very long time okay. a day. Uh, yeah. Long time means how long? Very long time means how long? Well, it, it really depends on different people. For a regular, um, uh, mid-age uh, people, if you don't have very serious problem in mm -hmm. yourself, you can tie that maybe about two hours a day. Okay. Yeah, but if 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 someone is a very old people and in very sick situation, mm -hmm. the maximum tie that time is maybe just one hour. One hour. Enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it dep all depends on. And after tie that, you need to, if you really tie that maybe two hours or one hour for sick, very sick people, you need to make sure that these people to take good rest. Mm. 
good that thing. Mm. Yeah, just very good rest. Mm -hmm. uh, sleep enough, <laughs> okay. At least need to sleep enough. This mm -hmm. is the first thing. Mm -hmm. So, with a very good sleep, maybe one or two days, mm -hmm. he can totally recover, and then you you can help help him to pie that the second time, and pie that different area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a very important tip to uh, make sure that your energy level can match mm -hmm. this process. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so so this is the second thing, and the third thing is that um, we are talking about what kind of food you uh, you 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 can take during this period. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, uh, we. We suggest that people don't uh, take the very cold food. Cold food. Mm. Yeah, very cold food for ice water and ice cream and mm -hmm. something with ice. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> you you don't take this kind of uh, very cold food. Mm -hmm. uh, we suggest people to drink uh, some warm water on or ginger mm -hmm. uh, uh, water mm -hmm. uh, ginger soup and yeah. yes. Something warm, okay. Oh, this during is, uh, practicing Paida exercise and for the yeah. whole day too, yeah. Yeah, and uh, and also we suggest people don't uh, eat too much okay. during that period because you know you need to save your energy, right? Mm -hmm. So if you eat too much food, mm -hmm. your body need to uh, uh, use extra energy mm -hmm. to digest this kind of food. Yeah. So we always suggest people to just eat maybe half, mm -hmm. half full, it's, okay. all, it's mm -hmm. very good, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the third one. And the fourth one is that uh, you need to keep your body warm. Mm -hmm. No matter what kind of weather, uh, what kind of season, you need to always keep your body warm. What, what we are talking about the warm body is that, um, um, is that, you you can you can touch your hands mm -hmm. or your feet. Mm -hmm. If your hands is cold, okay, and that means you don't have enough clothes <laughs> to cover your body. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. your hands or your foot. So so you you uh you need to have more clothes to cover your body, cover your leg, mm -hmm. or even you need to wear a sock. Uh, in Maybe in, just in this time, in some area, okay. Mm. So this is a very important uh, way to keep your energy uh, inside your body. Mm. And because you after pi da, you your energy need to go to fix the body, okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Because pi da is a healing process, and after pi da the 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 waste and the rubbish have been driven out, mm. and then your body need to produce a new energy to fulfill this empty places inside your body. Okay. okay. Yeah, that at that time you will feel tired, but you so, so that's why you need to save your energy and then let your energy to fill up your body again. Okay. So this is the uh, uh, the fourth one. And the fifth one is that. After Pai Da, a certain place, mm -hmm. you didn't, uh, you, we suggest you don't touch water okay. within two hours after you Pai Da. Mm -hmm. Okay, within two hours. Uh, then, because uh, the, 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 the moisture you get inside the body again mm -hmm. if you touch water uh, quickly. So we suggest then you don't. Uh, 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 touch the water, water. Mm. Yeah. and even some uh, cold air mm -hmm. because in, in a hot place people will turn on the air conditioner right yeah and then the very cold air will <laughs> blow out and then you you feel cool but if you are doing pai da mm. you you should be very careful to yeah to prevent this kind of cold air to direct to mm. hit to your body okay? oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, and the next one is that um, we suggest you don't stop any stop medicine. Mm. 
Okay. Mm. Yeah, you don't stop medicine immediately okay. because your body uh, rely on that medicine for a long time. Maybe, mm. for, uh, for example, some hyperpressure and diabetes, they have to take the medicine for a long time mm. every day. So uh, at the beginning of the PIDA uh, process, mm -hmm. you don't stop this kind of medicine immediately. Okay. Mm. Okay, but but you know, after you after your circulation, energy circulation is getting better and better, mm. and that and then your uh, your organs inside your body will fix themselves mm. step by step. For example, your heart and your lung and your stomach and your liver and your kidney will fix because more energy can reach to different organ and then they will work better and better. Mm. Okay, so this uh, different organs work together and then can help the body to generate more and more energy. Mm. And then with a higher level energy and a very good uh, energy circulation, Mm -hmm. Then your body will become healthier and healthier. Healthier and healthier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then step by step, your body don't have to rely on that kind of mm -hmm. to maintain the balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And then you can start to think of think of to decrease the medicine bit by bit. Okay. And then, yeah. Maybe uh, for several for some months, and then you can really get rid. Uh, out of that medicine totally okay. okay okay so because this is the real uh, healing right <laughs> yes if if you need to rely on some kind of things some kind of medicine every day it didn't really a uh, real healing <laughs> yeah. yeah still a sick person okay mm -hmm. so so what our purpose is to okay we don't have to rely on this kind of medicine Mm -hmm. Because our body can heal ourselves mm -hmm. automatically, but uh, we need to make sure that our body have uh, enough energy, and then we need to make sure we the energy can circulate mm -hmm. uh, very good. Okay, mm -hmm. so so this is the what we define as a re really uh, real healing process mm -hmm. in Chinese uh, theory. Okay, so this is. Um, uh, several tips about the Shaita. <laughs> yeah, Shaita. Okay. I have one question. With the, who should not do Paida? Uh, can weak? I have first question. The fracture, mm -hmm. the person, those who have fracture, when they can do Paida? Uh, have what kind of person? Uh, fracture. They have hand fracture, shoulder fracture, like um, fracture, bone break. Yeah. Uh, you, you mean a broken, right? Yeah, broken. So, well, if if there is a, um, a broken uh, problem with their body or sometimes some people have a surgery, right? Yeah, surgery. They have a yeah, new, new broken uh, problem. Uh, we, we don't suggest you buy that those area directly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in Chinese uh, 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 theory, Mm -hmm. We suggest you tie down those broken area after at least uh, three months. Three months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When they when they are when they are uh, broken mm -hmm. bone get fixed. Fixed it. Yeah. At yeah. least three months after. Yeah. After three months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If if uh, if you see more uh, sugar patient, they have their leg. The legs are get the more wound. It's like. Yeah. Um, um, really damage their skin. They have the pus, all the stuff. How, did they can do pida on the top? If they have wound down, they can do pida on the top. Yeah, of course. Around because, the yeah yeah yeah. Uh, just as uh, as I mentioned just now, because uh, the energy can fix your body, right? Yeah. Even though they have wound in a certain place, mm. because. You know why the wound cannot be fixed, mm -hmm. right? It, mm -hmm. It's all because of the very poor circulation. Of course. And then the and then their energy, their blood cannot reach okay. to the to the wounded area. Okay. So that it cannot fix them. Okay. Right. So 
by doing Tai Da, mm -hmm. you can help the circulation mm -hmm. a lot. Oh. And then after you remove all, all the uh, blockage along way, along this area, mm -hmm. and then the fresh blood can reach, reach. to that area. Mm -hmm. And then it can step by step, it can help to fix this wounded, wounded. area. Okay. okay, so don't worry. Uh, you can just maybe from the far side. Mm, okay, far side. Yeah, from the far side, and then step by step, you can reach to the uh, very close side. Okay. So, okay. Uh, for example, there are some people have some skin problem, right? Yeah. Skin also have some. Rashes. Some, mm. Yeah, some some very yeah very important very serious problem. Mm -hmm. So we. For those kind of people, we all we always suggest them to find out that area directly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then remove the blockage inside the body mm -hmm. and remove all the wasted mm -hmm. inside the area. Mm -hmm. And even though after Tai Da they will have some kind of breathing problem. Okay. It's, it doesn't matter. Because the if the there is some breathing breathing, it must be some wasted breath. Mm -hmm. Not a healthy blood, mm -hmm. so let's just let the wasted uh, blood go away, mm -hmm. then, uh, and then they will provide rooms for the fresh blood. Fresh blood, okay. Okay, and then the fresh blood can reach that area to, to fix this broken area. Okay, yeah. and one more thing, and broke skin or what? No, weak people. Okay, can we do paida of the weak people? People are really sick, so weak. Uh, can we yeah. apply them to them? We can. We can also. Yeah. You you know why you know because why why they are so weak? Mm. Yeah, because their heart and their lung cannot work properly. Okay, so they they looks very weak. Mm -hmm. And at this time, you always start with their inner inner part of their arms. Okay, okay. because in Chinese meridian uh, theory, it's the heart and lung. Mm -hmm. Meridian. Okay. To reach to their heart and their lung. Okay. So by removing all this blockage mm -hmm. along their heart mm -hmm. and lung uh, meridian, mm -hmm. you can you can improve their uh, heart and lung function immediately. Oh. It's very quick. It's very fast. So so yeah, you can see some people if they get uh, get cold or and even during this COVID time, mm -hmm. some people uh, have a very strong symptom to have a uh, very hard breathing problem. And if you can help them to remove all these areas uh, blockage, blockage, it can help them to change their, uh, their uh, situation very quickly. The breathing problem gets solved. Yes. Okay, how we use PIDA for emergency? Those who have some uh, um, emergency situation like a heart attack, breathing problem, and mm. those times, does somebody get faint immediately? How to use PIDA mm. for those people? Yeah, okay. Uh, you raised a very good point. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, this is also a very, um, very uh, strength, uh, very uh, powerful effect to use PIDA. Mm -hmm. So we always start uh, to tie down the elbow yeah. area, mm -hmm. the inner side of your elbow, mm -hmm. both both side, okay, both side, mm -hmm. your elbow. Because again, we just mentioned that this is the uh, heart and lung meridian mm -hmm. uh, area. So by tie down this area, there is an acupuncture point, mm -hmm. a very important acupuncture point. Mm -hmm. By tie down this area, you can drive uh, a lot of energy to reach to your heart and your lung. Okay. Then, then it can, yeah, it can help your lung and your heart to work very powerful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and very soon, uh, you, uh, it will happen very soon, okay? okay. So, so it will help a lot. So this, by tied up this um, area, you, you, you can uh, save the people in uh, uh, some heart attack problem okay. mm. and some very disease problem mm -hmm. 
and even the even when they take a bus, they have sick to take a bus yeah. or take a ship. Okay, and even someone have a very drunk problem. Mm -hmm. If if someone have drink too much, bring okay uh, addiction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You, you can also help them with this uh this method. Yeah, that is most major problem here. Addiction, yeah. you know, those stuff. The spider help them to come out from those stuff. Really amazing. Yeah. And how do you use for depression? How do we use a pida for depression people? Depression. Well, depress uh, yeah, depression is also uh, uh lead to pida more area. Okay. Mm. So is this area also is the first thing. <laughs> Everything is area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because because you know uh, your heart related to your spirit, mm -hmm. related to your mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, in Chinese uh, theory, mm -hmm. heart is it hard to think of something <laughs> in Chinese uh, mm -hmm. uh, theory? But uh, it's really um, can related to different um, uh, mindset and spirit, mm -hmm. spiritual uh, level. Mm -hmm. So always start with your uh, heart and lung area. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, and you can also tie down the head also, mm. tie down the head directly also. Mm. And uh, yeah, but if uh, if someone have a depression uh, problem, this kind of people always uh, cannot sleep very well. Yeah. Because after the medicine, they cannot sleep very well. So mm. not only the inner part of their, mm -hmm. their arms, but also outside, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. outside part of their arms and also the the leg mm -hmm. okay the leg area okay mm -hmm. suggest to find out from the knee area to the mm -hmm. foot area mm -hmm. whole leg mm -hmm. okay the whole leg okay you need to also find out these two areas mm -hmm. then, and then after doing this and um, they can improve their health uh, their sleeping quality mm -hmm. and if they can sleep better and better and then they they are more uh, energetic, right? Yes. They are not so sick, not not so depressed. Mm -hmm. so this, you can try this. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Here we use this area for pida, right? Uh, while, yeah. mm, what are the benefit if you do pida here on back of the neck, this area? Yeah. So um, yeah, many people have a, have a very serious blockage. On this area, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. This area. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, for example, some I I have some experience is that uh, someone with uh, blood pressure, high blood pressure problem, mm -hmm. and they they feel disease, and then after I tied out this area mm -hmm. good enough, mm -hmm. and then he he feel the the brain is clear, oh. much clear. Okay. okay. So, okay. but but there are also many people have. Uh, uh, very stiff problem around mm -hmm. their leg. Mm -hmm. So you can tie that directly all this area. Okay. okay. The, this area and then this this area, this area. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even even Shoulder. the so, okay. yeah, this, okay. this, this two areas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So after uh, and then shoulder upper, upper side, yeah, the shoulder side. Mm -hmm. And after tie that this area mm -hmm. good enough, you will feel very relaxed. Okay, you okay. feel those you feel your frozen neck, frozen shoulder, and frozen, there's the problem they cannot turn their neck. Those yeah. people they can do pay like here. Yeah, right, mm. right, right. So you actually uh they need someone to help them or they can they have to use some kind of tool like this mm -hmm. to do it by themselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Here I want to share my Paida experience. First I saw um by the master video and then it was first time i don't know about any chinese medicine i'm okay uh, master told that and uh, you have to do paida here shock come you do continuously saw will disappear it's really amazing thing for me okay i want to try it i did try and i start do spider here it came uh, it's like within 15 minutes i got shock then okay i can't keep on continue to paida it's like it's take a, for one hand 45 minutes to Clear all my shock. Yeah. Okay. Then I must have told that if you do for one hand, you have to do for another hand. So I try another hand. It's take another 45 minutes. 
Oh my God. Anyway, I, I cleared all. It's like uh, one and a half hours to clear my one form area. The beginning. Yes. First day, I did one and a half hour. I want to test it because something is different. Uh, mm -hmm. It's amazing thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, uh, then Master Dattwal, he told, body, create, find the blockage and also create the medicine to clear the blockage. This word is really impressed for me. I want to try it. Very first day, I did one and, one and a half hour five hour. Then very next, I went to sleep good. And the next day I saw, I got it swollen. This place got yeah. swollen. So I yeah. do yeah. either this area and leave it free for next to one week. I didn't touch it. After one week, I try Pyra on the same area. I don't feel much pain. There is no shock. Come. I, yeah. I did for five yeah. minutes. I even did for 15 minutes. There is no yeah. shock. Come. Okay. No, no pain, right? <laughs> no pain, no sharp beard. Okay, yeah, sure. amazing thing. So we are uh, seeing it's visible. We have blockage. We have the problem. It is visible. And the pain is the indication and the saw is the indication. Really, we can. Uh, it's amazing thing. You can find your problem and fix it. Yeah, you sure. don't need to depend on any expert. You have to go there and wait on queue and you have to depend on them. Mm -hmm. thing is we making all the mistake you know we, we're not sleeping good we're not eating good we make all the mistake and we go and uh, depend on doctors to fix our health it's not true we have to take care good and uh, uh, the body will take care of us that's the fine thing and i want to have one more question how much uh, um, have time like uh, five minutes work? okay what is intense spira how long we have to take rest while doing the intense spira um, the interval I'm talking. Uh, how long? What? Sorry. Um, uh, okay. The in intense. We do intense spider for uh, two three hours, right? And during those time, we have to how long? We have to take a rest. Can we do spider for? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, there is no uh, standard for different people. Okay? Okay. Because different people have different situation. Mm -hmm. If if you are so young and then. You can pay that every day for two hours, maybe. Okay. But if for uh, uh, elder people, and maybe it take them maybe two or three days to take a rest, mm -hmm. and then and take and then take the second time to pay that. Okay. All the all the all difference, but the indicator is that you would need to see if if he's um if you are very tired mm -hmm. at that day. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel very tired, you, you you can go on, go on, and then pay that. But if you feel very tired, you don't pay that. Okay. Okay. Take rest. Yeah, that's the that's the only uh, indicator you can um, yeah <laughs> tell about yourself. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And can you share us any uh, pay that experience uh, with your patient, with your friends, pay that experience? Uh, you can. You are talking um, about my my experience. Yeah. Yeah, well, but experience with the people, the immediate result. When you do PIDA, we can see the immediate result. Just a few uh, feedback. Well, and uh, you know, um, by using the PIDA, you you can you can fix different kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. The first the first problem is that the body pain. Body okay? pain. Yeah, I think uh, at least ninety percent of your body pain can can be released if you use the pie diet properly. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, whatever your joint mm -hmm. uh, pain or your, your uh, the joint, right, the shoulder and the leg and the, mm -hmm. even the head, mm -hmm. even the knees, mm -hmm. even your yeah, uh, ankle mm -hmm. and even your hand, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> All this kind of uh, uh, body pain, you can use the PIDA to heal. And then with, with just one or two times uh, PIDA, the pain almost gone. Gone. Mm. Yeah. I cannot say 100%, but at least mm -hmm. 80 to 90% uh, pain can go, can be go, can gone. Okay. Gone. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, uh, what we can see the immediate effect uh, by using the PIDA. Mm -hmm. And another kind of, um, uh, immediate effect is that um, we we also apply to apply the Chinese acupuncture theory. Mm -hmm. It's so called the meridian theory mm -hmm. to 
to uh, to treat the different kind of uh, symptom. Mm -hmm. For example, if some if uh, someone have a fever problem, mm -hmm. okay, a fever problem, then you can suggest them to pipe out over here. Okay. This area. Yeah. Okay. And maybe okay. just pipe out about fifteen minutes or twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Then, then he will. Um, then the fever will Reduce. go down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The the temperature will go down. Mm -hmm. And if the and if someone have a catch catch cold. Mm -hmm. And then we suggest them to pipe out the, <coughs> also mm -hmm. this area, okay, mm -hmm. elbow. Mm -hmm. And uh, if someone have a toothache, okay, mm -hmm. we suggest them to pipe out the <laughs> hand, the yeah. back of the hand, mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes you also pipe out the this area, top of the foot, <laughs> okay, the back, yeah, mm -hmm. the foot, yeah. And well, it's very. Uh, powerful way to yeah heal different kinds of problems or even if someone have a stomach ache mm -hmm. okay you you suggest them to pipe out this area the this leg area, yeah yeah the leg area mm -hmm. and then the pain will go also so mm -hmm. but so this kind of problem the pipe out can have a immediate effect immediate. and for the for the uh for the more serious problem for the chronic uh problem mm -hmm. for example the hyper pre uh, pressure body uh, uh diabetes mm -hmm. and hyper pressure mm -hmm. uh, problem mm -hmm. we always suggest people to pipe up all the meridian all the, meridian. <laughs> the whole body yeah the all whole body mm -hmm. what we call is the carpet bombing to, to remove all the blockage along uh, mm -hmm. cover his uh, whole body mm -hmm. and by doing that the the effect is very uh, very good also okay mm -hmm. okay yeah we can I, i'd like to share more <laughs> more cases in the future <laughs> yeah, sure <laughs> yeah. Yeah. thank you so much mr Zen. we you today we talk about paida and how to do paida there is two criteria and you have to do paida until the pain disappear first thing second thing until disappear sure and what should not do while doing the paida, you should not drink cold water. You always keep your body warm and mm -hmm. right, uh, wear good clothes, cover your body to stay warm always and eat less, sleep good and uh, do paida like um, give rest. When you feel tired, give rest and uh, do paida, do continuously. So you can cure your all pain and this is blockage gets solved and you became healthy. Thank you so much, Mr. Zin. We continue in next section. Thank you. Okay, okay. Bye. You're welcome. <laughs> so see you Bye. next time. Bye. See you next time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.